All right, here's another uh, Jewel Thief style inverter, I guess you could say, just using an existing transformer. I used this one before, which worked pretty good, but I wired it differently. Um, I guess you could say using uh, V2's style or maybe uh, laser saber, not really sure, but basically just taking a um, a common between two of the windings on this transformer. There was um, one winding of blue wire, one winding of red, one winding of white and orange. And uh, the white and the orange were actually the same wire. So there was three total windings. And on this one, there was a common between the red winding, which was a short little black wire down here, which would basically, it was basically two of the, uh, it was basically a splice point um, in the red winding. So like a jewel thief, you would use that as your positive input. And then one end of the red would go to your base, the other end would go to the uh, collector. So that's basically what's going on. And meanwhile, this other winding, which had a uh, higher ohms than the blue one, the uh, orange and the white, that's basically my uh, AC output. So, you know, like a normal transformer, the oscillator is uh, the red wire, and um, the collapse goes to the other winding, the high voltage winding. So basically, this looks like crap, but I've basically just got my high voltage, uh, my flyback winding. One is going out through here. Another one is going to uh, that plug, the green plug. And then I've got that rectified also. This is my DC. So this is basically just the AC with um, diodes on it. And just want to show uh, a couple of things. It's pretty cool about it. Just using a 2N3055, some different resistors. These wires are just left hanging. That gives me a lower resistance uh, for more current if I want it. But I was actually able to get a 50-watt uh, halogen bulb to uh, get a little red, which is pretty cool. But I'm going to go ahead and cut it on. Right now, see I've just got this uh, this 12 volt auto bulb on there, and see if I can get it a little brighter. There we go. So now that it's oscillating a little better than it was before, you can see how bright that is. 12 volt auto bulb, not too bad. You get it pretty bright. There you go. Kind of fell into a nice oscillation. So that's pretty bright. So now let me, you know, that's, that's about as bright as it'll get straight across the input, by the way. About that right there. Won't get any brighter than that. So let's take, uh, let's take this LED, 7 watt LED I got over there plug that in. Take this off. And that's that over there, which is pretty bright also. That's damn near as bright as that'll get uh, plugged into the mains. So let's see. Let's take uh Take this fluorescent I got right here, just to show the voltage. Plug that in. Unplug this. Wow, never seen that before. Saw that purple, purple in there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that gets pretty bright too. So, I'm going to plug this LED lamp back in over there, just because I don't want to run it without a load. I'm going to try this 50-watt, uh, 120-volt halogen bulb, which I've never 
able, never been able to really uh, get going on anything else. Can't really say it lights on this one, doesn't really light, but at least it starts to light. Plug that in. You can see, getting some light from it. Unplug this, because it's loading it a little bit. So you can see the light I get from that, get a little lesser resistance. It's about as bright as I can get that right there. But it lights nonetheless. It's pretty cool. So basically that means I can take like a 60 watt bulb out of a socket, an incandescent, and I can get a little light from that also, from this 12 volts, through the basic Jewel Thief inverter, which is basically what I would call it. So that's not bad. Plug this back in. They both want to light a little bit. Take that off. So yeah, pretty cool. You know, I can uh, probably do close to anything, you know, except for like a heater or a television maybe or a computer. I can probably run a lot of things using a plug, a lot of uh, appliances which is pretty cool. So I might try some other things. But yeah, basic Jewel Thief inverter type deal. About, about the strongest one I've been able to uh, build so far using that setup. Just these components. But you don't want to touch it because I've accidentally done that and it's pretty bad. You don't want to do that. Alright. <laughs>